Hey, uh, how you doing? Well, fine, that's great. So, I'm Blender in the Sky, and I am having another tutorial for you here, so, enjoy. Hey everyone, Blender in the Sky here with another Blender Game Engine tutorial. Last time, we created the trees for our landscape, so now we're gonna take a look at how we can make our landscape look more appealing and more realistic in that case. So what you can see is that I've added some more stones to my landscape um, and you can easily do that by watching the last tutorial and applying the same techniques that I used there to stones. So this time we will be adding ambient occlusion for the ground and also we're gonna add some mist. What we're gonna do first is we're gonna switch to blender random mode and then we're gonna go to the material settings and we're gonna create a new window and change to the UV image editor and if we go into the edit mode we see our UVs of the ground there and go to the mesh tab and add a new UV map and we're gonna call this one AO and if we now unwrap this thing again with U you can pull up that menu we have a whole nother UV map created and this has to be scaled in a way that the whole thing is covered then we're gonna select um, this U the first UV map for our ground and we're gonna come back in edit mode and add a new texture to our ground material. And we're gonna make it 4K and we're gonna make it 4069 pixel by 4069 pixel and we're gonna call it ground AO and it's gonna be black. And then we're gonna go out of edit mode and we've now created our new texture. Then we're gonna um, remove our grass layer because um, baking ambient occlusion for our grass will look a bit weird later on so we're gonna remove that and we're gonna add ambient occlusion we're gonna go to the world tab and enable ambient occlusion turn the distance down to 2 and set the samples to something like 8 if you go higher it takes longer but it looks also better and then we're gonna go to the bake settings and we're gonna change it to ambient occlusion and select normalized there in the render tab and then we're all good just check in the edit mode of your object that the texture is still selected that you want to bake to and then we can bake and here you go here's my bake so also make sure to pack your bake as a PNG right after baking otherwise it will get lost if you reopen the file or if you control Z if you undo something and now we're gonna go to the textures tab and we're gonna add in a new texture and we're gonna call this AO and then we're gonna select our ground AO texture that we just created and then you can automatically see it's added this texture to our ground and around those stones there's now this ambient occlusion going on and if we remove those stones you can see all those black, sto black spots where the stones are and then what we wanna do is we wanna select our ground of course and we wanna change the mode to multiply and that gives us our original texture from the ground below this ambient occlusion texture and you can easily enable and disa na disable the ambient occlusion here and then we might turn down the color influence a bit so it doesn't it isn't so strong the ambient occlusion effect so we get a bit more of a realistic result yeah and then we can activate our grass layer again and that basically concludes ambient occlusion baking so the next step will be to add some mist and therefore we're gonna change back to blender game engine mode and we're gonna remove that window we don't need that anymore and activate mist it gives us some nice fog we're gonna change the colors a bit so in in my situation i always like to go for a bit of a green or a bluish kind of type but that also depends on what kind of sky dom or sky box you're using you might want to adjust that to fit to your sky, but I'm not really using a sky in this scene, so I'm going to stick with this bright green and set the start to zero and the depth to something uh, strong uh, further back so you can just see that the end of your scene is blending with the mist. And then we can also enable render background. And yeah, this gives us our final result for this tutorial. A nice scene with some nice mist, some trees, some stones in our landscape. And if you now want to add maybe some better lighting to make your scene look even more cool, 
even more realistic and you might also like to add a day and night cycle if you choose to do that then just check out my other tutorials on these topics the links will be in the description and make sure you subscribe to my channel and yeah share the video if you enjoyed it and if you learned something see you in the next one and blender in the sky signing off